We're coming back with round two with Voices in His Head, the Viper himself, Randy Orton, in the Elite Top Picks series for 2023. I could be wrong if it's mixed 2022, but you never know. So here is a picture of him in the back. He's from St. Louis, Missouri, of course. And he, his finisher move, we all know and love, the, the, the three letters in sports entertainment, the RKO. And he won the WWE Championship, he won the Intercontinental Championship, and of course, the good old United States Championship. If you want to pause and read about the Viper, you're welcome to. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy. And these are the three figures I already have in my collection, but I will not be getting Drew McIntyre because he might be in the same series as something else. I do not know which it might be. Here's a picture of Randy Orton on the side, and here's a picture of his name. This is my logo, my name. We all know about the man, the myth, the legend, Randy Orton, don't we? But anyways, without further ado, let's open up the Viper himself, Randy Orton. Alrighty, here is the legend killer. The Viper, Randy Orton. Love this dude or hate this dude, this guy will go down in professional wrestling itself. Or sports entertainment, if you will. Or just go with both, I don't really care. So here is Randy Orton himself having a nice clean shaver face. Trying to look like from his 2002-2003 look that he had. Or the 2010 look, but this time he ain't bald. Because they definitely went with the bald Randy Orton. Before he decided to grow all of his hair back, slash his facial hair back in at least 2013 to 2014. When he was having a great match with yours truly, Batista and Daniel Bryan. A.K.A. the underdog himself, Daniel Bryan. So without further ado, let's get into the figure. So as you can see, he's an elite figure. He can split his legs. But basic figures on WWE figures, you can't split their legs because that's kind of how it works. I will show you a basic figure right about now. Now this is the basic Finn Balor. So as you can see, I'm going to try to split his legs. See? You can't split his legs. So that's why elites are better than basics. So that's why I don't get basics. And you're probably wondering what I'm going to use this Finn Balor basic for. Maybe, maybe like a wrestling fan in the background, who knows. But enough of him, we're focusing on the Viper Randy Orton. So... Annoy that, that was just showing you as an example of why elites are better than basics, so just to get my point out there. As you can see, he can definitely kick somebody, including his left and right leg, of course. Um, he definitely bends his knees. I will recommend if you be very careful with the knees because of these uh, little knee pads right here that's on Randy Orton's leg, protecting his knees, because they will snap off. Not necessarily snap off, it'll, it'll just rip into the, not the leg or the painting, it's just, you know, all I'm saying is if it rips, then you're going to have to replace this figure with a different one, because, you know, all I'm saying is it's not worth it, so just go easy on the knees if you have to, that's all I'm saying. Anything else, yes, you can Jake take off his RKO jacket. And reveal more of Randy Orton's stronger material look, if you will. Just to make it sound pretty, I guess you could say fancy, but you know. There we go. This is what he looks like without him wearing it. Of course, the three letters in sports entertainment, RKO. Because everybody loves Randy Orton when he does an RKO. That, that's just what makes a wrestler very legendary. So that's just, this is what he looks like without him wearing it. And he has so many tattoos. Yes, he has skull tattoos, if you will. He has a tattoo on his back slash shoulder area. And, yep, it goes all the way down to his wrist. Yep, basically his whole entire arms are covered in tattoos. So many of tattoos, if you will. Most of them are pretty much skulls, and some of them are pretty much random ones, but... Yeah, but anyways, his arms do go 60 degrees, and he has double-jointed elbows, which we'll get to his classic pose just a minute. So he has double-jointed uh, uh, double jointed elbows, which is fantastic. His arms go 60 degrees. You got a little bit of an arm swivel going on here, as you can see, which is a good thing, because you can basically twist his arm and make him have like an arm injury, like so. If you're doing like a stop motion or a picture, annotation, 
if you will, just to, you know, get the people's attention on action figures in general. Like I said, double jointed, double jointed elbows. You can definitely rotate the hands a little bit. Go up and down with them. And yes, he does come with interchangeable hands, which we'll get to, like I said, just a minute. Um, I like the little tights. I like the yellow color. I like the white and... So yeah, like the white and uh, yellow colors. And you have Orton on the bottom of his trunks. Wrestling trunks, if you will. Uh, the boots definitely do rotate, which is very good. Uh, you can definitely bend his foot. He's kind of more of a kicker for football. If, if you're into football or into sports, go for it if you're into that. Uh, you can definitely bend his other foot too. Um, of course, you got to get to the all-time classic. The ankle pivot, which is very, very, very nice. You can't do action figure reviews without ankle pivots. We got to go to Ankle Pivot City, guys. That's that's just how it works. And, of course, for best for last, the head goes 60 degrees, but definitely not in real life. And this definitely looks like, of course, Randy Orton himself. If you ever see him in person or see him on TV, that's what he looks like with or without facial hair for the most part so we got to get to the interchangeable hands right so let's get into it because everybody wants to know about randy orton's you know manly pose let's get into it so all you got to do is hold on to his arm and take his hand with your pointer finger and your thumb and then you pull like so like that you'll hear a pop exactly just like that We'll give him the the peace out. Like like he's about to do the peace out hand, but is he about to like grab something like a uh like a diamond or a big diamond or something? And then you push, push, push. There you have it. So let's go ahead and do it on the other side. Same drill. Get into this right here. Boom. Just like that. So, we'll get on to the classic Randy Orton pose that everybody knows and loves. Here we go. Here we go. There he is. I hear voices in my head. They count to me. They understand. They talk to me. There he is, doing the classic, iconic Randy Orton pose when he's outside the ring or in the ring in general. Look at that. That's just a fantastic Randy Orton. You can even do it on the back side, which so iconic it's i mean just just look at that if only if i had a spinner or anything going around here i can like do that which i'll have to probably save for another future action figure review but for right now this is just iconic right here so here is randy orton standing next to his of course himself and it's raining outside, so I'll try to annoy that as possible. But anyways, here is the younger version of Randy Orton. Um, back in the good old Attitude Era, which is so classic and iconic. This came with the, uh, or which which lineup was this? This one's, uh, the, the defining, I don't, I don't want to say it's defining moments, but it's, uh, I know it's something, but I know it's on the top of my head, but we gotta move on here. And then of course we have 990, I believe. For this Randy Orton figure, which is fantastic, I like the red and the black and the white attire, which is very cool. So, that's what he looks like standing next to his future and present day. And here he is standing next to the one and only Enzo Amore. Here he is also standing next to the Thugonomics, John Cena, which they are good friends in real life. And here is Randy Orton standing next to the AEW wrestlers, Orange Cassidy, and then of course the main man himself that we all know as well, Kenny Omega. And then of course, everybody should know this, this is of course Randy Orton's favorite wrestler slash childhood hero, the American hero Hulk Hogan. And there goes Randy Orton on an RKO streak, just RKOing everybody, including a few AEW stars themselves. Uh, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like this, check out the playlist of every WWE action figure review that I have ever done. So, uh, without further ado, guys, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. And also turn on the notifications because it really helps the channel and it helps it grow and all that good stuff. So, until then, see you guys next time. Peace out.